Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another comic book haul. This is comic book haul number 15. This is my Ultra Batman haul volume 2. Um, before I start, I just want to give a couple of shout outs, and I'll give a couple of shout outs as I move along as well, but just wanted to name a few people. Um, some, first off, I'd like to thank some of my new subscribers, uh, new subscribers such as Franklin Cortez Wobbles. Michael Alkir, I hope I pronounced that name correctly, uh, Comic Thoughts, The Comic Book Villain Gil, Schmo Daddy, Lurking Beneath the Sea, The Great Legends Show. Um, those are just some of my new um, subscribers. I'd like to thank you for subscribing to me, taking time out to leave comments, and watching my videos. Um, another couple of shout-outs I'd like to give before I get this thing rolling. Uh, Living Dead Comics. I don't think he makes videos anymore, and I doubt he's watching this video. But um, still, he's a really cool uh, guy, very knowledgeable about comics. You should check out his channel if you're not already subscribed to him. And uh, last shout-out for, for now, because like I said, I usually give shout-outs as I move along. But um, another shout-out I wanted to give, um, just in case I forget to goes to one of my new uh, one of my new favorite um, channels to watch Mike the comic crypt of Castle Hills you keep you make awesome videos keep making your videos I love watching them okay let's begin this is Justice League 42 now why is this on a Batman hall I'm pretty sure you all know why in this book Batman discovers who the Joker what, what his real name is I mean it's not revealed to the reader but this is the book where he asks the chair, who is the, uh, who is the Joker? So that's why I have here, uh, have this up here. It might be worth getting. And of course, that leads into uh, Justice League number fifty, where you where you find out uh, the inf some of the information uh, from that issue forty two. So they are related to Batman. All right, moving along. Some of the books that you're going to see here were also on Herc Collects Comics video, the East Coast Comic Con video that was shot here in my house. Once again, I want to give a shout out to him. Definitely subscribe to Herc Collects Comics. Really nice guy. He's just phenomenally nice guy, and uh, he makes really good videos. This was one of the books I got. Uh, you know, I, I just decided to include it in this haul, being that it is a Batman book. Uh, Detective 759, really cool Mad Hatter uh, cover. Batman Confidential number 26, that's the first appearance of King Tut in comics. Remember King Tut from the old 66 show? And this is just a continuation of it, number 27. And number 28, and just forgot to take the price tag off it, covering Riddler's face. So that's the whole King, T uh, King Tut intro. Um, Azrael, Death's Dark Knight, I believe... This is the first appearance of Michael Lane as Azrael. If you play the Arkham Knight se uh, video game series, Michael Lane is the Azrael you encounter in those games, not John Paul Val. Batman and Robin number one. I believe this is the first time Damian uh, Wayne as takes up the costume of uh, Robin. Detective 503, the first appearance of Hamilton Hill, mayor of Gotham City. Future End 46, I believe this is the death of Terry McGinnis, who was Batman Beyond. This is the continuation number 47 of that book. Let me remove these. I want to try to move this video along. Batman Beyond number one, the first appearance of Batman Beyond, who is Terry McGinnis. Now, be careful. If you're looking for this book, you got to get this one. It says that one of six. There's a reprint out there that says special origin issue over here. That is the reprint. If you're looking for this book, because they look exactly the same except for this area over here. So if you're looking for Batman Beyond number one, get the one that says number one of six. That's the true uh, first appearance of Batman Beyond. Now this one here, I've seen this on a couple of walls uh, as of late in comic book shops. Um, so, uh, Superman Batman Annual number four. This is the first appearance of Batman Beyond in uh, DC continuity. So this is another uh, book to be searching. You might be able to stealth buy it. I don't know. Uh, Batman 699, as you, you may or may not know, Riddler is my favorite uh, Batman villain. Awesome Batman cover. Oh, well, well, Riddler cover, excuse me. I just had to put this up. Cheap book. I think I got it for a dollar. Here's another one. Batman 292, another Riddler 
cover, Batman 362, another Riddler cover. So I really like trying to get as many of them as I possibly can get. Many Riddler appearances too. This is Batman 313. This is the second appearance, I believe, of the Calendar Man. This is Batman 318. This is the first appearance of Firebug, um, who appeared in the original Nintendo Batman video game. I believe he was the villain, the boss that you fought right before you get right before you fight to the Joker, for those of you that were able to get to the Joker, because it's a very, very hard game. This is another one I got from the East Coast Comic Con. Uh, this was also in her Collects Comics uh, video on the East Coast Comic Con. Batman 588, the first appearance of Matches Malone. If you watched Gotham, um, he was on that show. So let me know in the comments what you think about that show. Uh, I saw the finale of Gotham. Eh, I don't know. I think they're trying to explain, put a little too much explanation on the villains too much. Like trying to really explain, try to give a real world explanation on how they became these um, villains. And to me, that's sort of taken away some of the magic. That's just me. Uh, Batman 178, just another uh, Batman issue from the Silver Age. There's another one that's a cool cover. Uh, Batman, remember, I'm, as you know, I'm not going in order. I'm just jumping all around. Uh, Batman 636, cool cover with black mask. This was another one that was in the Hercules Comics video from the East Coast Comic Con. Uh, first appearance is Batman 635, the first appearance of Jason Todd as the Red Hood. It's not the first appearance of the Red Hood, and it's not the first appearance of Jason Todd. Just wanted to make that note. Detective Comics 377, another silver, uh, another uh, Riddler appearance, a Silver Age appearance, early Silver Age appearance of the Riddler. Moving along. Richard Dragon, number five, first appearance of Lady Shiva. Another one from the uh, East Coast Comic Con video. Ooh, two faces, a little wobbly. Batman 260, the second appearance, second mentioning, second appearance of Arkham Hospital, which is Arkham Asylum. Showcase 73. Why is this in a bat why is this in my Ultra Batman video? It's because it's the first appearance of the Creeper, who is Jack Ryder. And once again, if you play the Arkham uh, video games, you know Jack Ryder is in them, so I had to include it in this video. Okay, we're winding down. There's a couple here. Uh, Batman 638. This is where Batman finds out that Jason Todd is the Red Hood. And here's the other cover. Uh, two covers. You have the Jason Todd one and the shocked Batman cover. So pretty cool. Detective Comics 259, the first appearance of the Calendar Man. Detective Comics 311, first appearance of Catman. Detective Comics 351, the first appearance of the Clue Master. Moving along. We're winding down now. Uh, Batman 179, the second, second Silver Age appearance, really the fourth, the fourth appearance of the Riddler. Batman New 52, number 7, the first appearance of Harper Row, and Batman New 52, number 1. This is uh, very special to me because it was a Valentine's present from my wife. Okay, last few. This is what I call a rescued book. Let me fix this. This is Detective Comics 142, the second appearance of the Riddler. I'll talk a little bit about the next couple of books. Um, I'm already at the eight minute mark. Um, this I call a rescued copy because it was priced very low and it was put into a really ratty bag, largely I think because it was a coverless book. I got it because I'm a Riddler fan. I didn't pay that much for this at all, but I have noticed, because I always follow um, old Riddler appearances, and I've noticed this was on eBay uh, well, a couple of these were on eBay, and they sold for pretty, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks. I mean, one that I was following, I think, was sold for like a hundred something dollars, and the last one was two hundred and fifty-five dollars. So I don't know. It, Riddler is a really popular character, as you all know, in Batman uh, lore, and I think anything with him, especially a second appearance, would bring some sort of value, cover or no cover. But I'm very happy to have it. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll be able to get a cover for it. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be expensive. Uh, Detective Comics uh, 74. This is the first appearance of Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Uh, 
This was the last of the Silver Age appearances I needed, Detective Comics 230, the first appearance of the Silver Age Mad Hatter, who was later found out to be um, an imposter. I don't know, I hem and hawed about this one, uh, you know, because I got all the other Silver Age appearances like the Riddler and Penguin and so forth, but I was finally happy to add this one to my collection. Move these. Last two. That was the first Silver Age appearance of the Mad Hatter, and this right here, ooh, this is going to knock some stuff over. Batman 49. This is the first true appearance of the Mad Hatter. And it's also the first appearance of Vicki Vale. I'm very happy to have this book. I, you know, I've been trying to get it for a while, and sometimes trying to find that right price is difficult. And I found it at the right price, or at least the price that I was willing to pay for it. And I was finally, you know, able to bring this into my collection. Very happy. But it's really, really cool. Really cool cover. Love the cover. And the last book, as you probably guess what it is by now, you saw the thumbnail. Uh, Detective Comics 140, first appearance of the Riddler. It has a slight restoration because it has a little bit of glue right here. I bought the grader's notes for it. Other than that, there is no other restoration on this book. And to be quite frank, if it did, I it wouldn't, wouldn't bother me. Um, the reason why is because this is my Holy Grail book. I know a lot of people have their Grail books, but this is my Holy Grail book. Let me just straighten this up. I never, con I never thought of having Batman number one or Amazing Fantasy 15 because those books are out of reach. Therefore, they are not Holy Grails for me. But I've, oh, this book was always something that was still pretty expensive, but possibly within reach. And it, I finally reached for it and got it. And that is why this is my holy grail. I love this book. I, got it, I, I wound up getting it a few months back and purposely holding it for this video. Um, I, can't, I can't tell you how much I really, really love having this book in my collection. I'm a big Riddler fan. This is something that I've dreamed about having, and I, it's on my comic book wall, and I look at it every day on the wall. I pick it up and look at it. Here's what the back cover looks like. Everything. I'm just so happy to finally have this book in my collection. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, will there be a Batman Hall Volume 3? Probably. Uh, probably not this year. Um, you know, as long as there are Batman books that I think are within reach that I need, there will be Batman Halls. Um, but I want to concentrate, I'll see what I can get this year, but I want to concentrate on filling out some of my Marvel Silver Age books now. Now I'm starting to get a little bit into that. My two-year anniversary will be coming up in August, and I plan to put out a video, and it's going to be a, I, I hope it's, I think it's going to be a good one. I hope you all watch. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to try concentrating on some Silver Age Marvels. But yeah, I will always collect Batmans, and they will always have their own unique haul as long as there are major ones to collect. And there are still a couple major ones that I think I'll be able to uh, to get. Um, so because of that, there will be a haul for them. Thank you for watching once again. Thank you for all, all my subscribers, both new and old. I really appreciate your patience with me. Um, the length of my videos and the wait for some of my videos because I don't put out videos the way some other uh, subscribe uh, youtubers uh, do I I put out haul videos like every two months every two and a half months and I appreciate you staying subscribed to me and when they these videos come out you watch them thank you once again and I'll be watching your videos leaving comments supporting the community because this community does matter uh, very much to me take care everyone